Generally speaking, winter in North Dakota is a long, cold affair, with a smattering of warmish days mixed in. But we've already had a week of above-average temperatures and are expecting at least a week more, with some days in the 50s. And that could hamper your efforts to remove your ice house. What typically will happen is it's going to loosen up along the shorelines. It'll melt and loosen up there, so accessing a bunch of lakes out there might become a real issue. Getting your shelter off the ice is just one of your chores. You do have another responsibility as well. well one issue that we do see year after year is, uh, is litter. Power says most ice anglers are pretty good about picking up after themselves as the winter moves along. Where we sometimes run into problems is the cumulative effect of large villages of houses gathering for longer periods of time. You'll see some of these lakes where you will have 300 outfits, vehicles in a small area. And there's a good bite, perch bite, something like that lasts for a month, then everybody leaves. It's only common sense to pick up cigarette butts, pop cans, styrofoam containers, and the like. But while you're at it, don't forget the shims and two by fours and other odds and ends that are used to prop up houses. In some lakes, there's a lumber yard left out there because of reasons like that. People even get stuck and they'll use a, you know, a two by something out there to get unstuck with and they leave it out there. And there's a lot of wood and it floats in the spring, ends up in the shoreline somewhere. Remember, it's against the law in North Dakota to leave litter on the lake, and that includes fish entrails and unused bait. And with these warm days and cool nights, it's possible your house could freeze into the ice. It's still your responsibility to get it off despite the conditions. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.